Hello everyone. So in this video, we look at the enzymes and the other components involved during DNA replication or the ones that take part in DNA replication. So first, we'll start by defining what is DNA replication. So this is a process of synthesizing new DNA from the old ones, that is from the old strands. And usually say that the DNA replication process is semi-conservative. So the first enzyme that is involved in DNA replication is the helicase enzyme. So it's the one that initiates the unwinding of the DNA. That is a parent DNA, DNA double helix structure so that the strands can be uh, single strand or they can be exposed so that uh, the new templates can then be synthesized using the old strands. So next after the unwinding of the DNA, of course, for them to remain unbound, we have the binding enzymes, which now binds on the single-stranded DNAs that have already unwound so that they can stabilize them, so that they can remain separated. Because otherwise, the, they can uh, reform the double helix structure again. And then the other one is the primase enzyme. This one is the one that adds now the short uh, DNA primer, as we had seen in the other... The, as as we had seen in the um, other video, the pri the primase has to the primer has to be added so that the DNA polymerase three can now add the nucleotides. So it's the primase the primase enzymes that now the RNA primer to the template DNA, so that the process of adding the the prime uh, the process of adding the nucleotides can begin. So next we have the DNA polymerase 3. So the DNA polymerase 3 is it's the one that adds the nucleotides to the old strands to now form uh, nucleotides to now form the new DNA strand. And then we have the DNA polymerase 1 which now removes the primer because you see at the end of the day after the new strand has been formed the primer has to be the RNA primer has to be removed and the correct DNA base is inserted. And then finally we have the DNA ligase which now joins the Okazaki fragments that we had seen in the previous video to now form a continuous sugar phosphate backbone of the DNA. Thank you and uh, for listening and in case you have any question don't, um, uh, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. Yeah, and uh, in case you're still having difficulties understanding the DNA replication process, you can refer to the full video that explains in details how the process occurs.